now let's see this question this question came in gate 2014 for one mark the question is let g is equal to v comma e be a directed graph where v is the set of vertices and e is the set of edges then which one of the following graphs has the same strongly connected components that of with respect to that of g okay so g1 g2 g3 g4 these are the four graphs which are somewhat alterations with respect to g and we have to say that which of these graphs has the same number of not only same number of exactly same strongly connected components so whatever in g we are having strongly connected components those the exactly same strongly connected components should be in that answer okay so we have to choose that one okay so let's start the first one is g1 is equal to v comma e1 so v is the same so set of vertices is same as that of g but e1 the set of edges is different where e1 is defined as u comma v where u comma v does not belong to e okay so uh, we'll try to understand it with an example so let's say uh, consider a graph uh, which is let's say there are two isolated vertices one and two and there are no edges so let's say this is the graph g okay so if this is the graph g then with with respect to uh, the definition given in one a what is the graph g1 that we have to understand okay so here they are saying that the set of vertices are same so the set of vertices are same and the edges are such that if u comma v edge is not there in g then that is edge exists in g1 okay so 1 to 2 that edge does not exist so it will exist in g1 2 to 1 this edge does not exist in g that's why it will exist in g1 so this is the graph g1 now we can clearly see that g has two strongly connected components each having one vertex and g1 is having only one strongly connected component so definitely one a is not the answer okay now uh, if we talk about d then if we make g4 for the same graph then see they are saying that the set of vertices is such that in g the vertices which are not isolated they are part of the g4 okay but in g we are seeing that all the vertices in fact both the vertices are isolated vertices and that's why as per the definition in g4 both of them should not exist in g4 which means that g4 is basically a empty graph so there are no vertices and no edges so g4 is a empty graph now clearly d is also incorrect because now g has two strongly connected components and g4 has no strongly component zero zero strongly connected components that's why d is not also not the answer now uh, let's say what if the graph is something like this if the graph is something like let's say this is one this is two and if the graph is something like this there is only one edge from one to two let's try to understand how g3 will look like so if this is g then g3 will look like as per the definition the set of vertices are same so one and two the set of vertices are going to be the same now the set of edges the definition is u comma v such that there is a path of length less than or equal to 2 from u to v okay so from 1 to 2 there is a path of length 1 right that's why this edge will exist now from 2 to 1 there is a path of length 0 so this will also exist because 0 is less than or equal to 2 so this will also exist now again we see that g3 has single strongly connected component okay basically the strongly connected component uh, just uh, you have to refresh the definition of strongly connected component strongly connected component is such a set of vertices among uh, in which every vertex is reachable from any other vertex okay so here two is reachable from one but one is not reachable from two okay that's why these are basically 
different components but here one is reachable from two two is reachable from one and so this entire thing is basically a single strongly connected component okay so now we can understand that c is also not the answer so obviously b is only left and that is going to be the answer but let's check that okay so in b let's try to understand with a example where there is a edge let's say from 1 to 2 okay so this is g then what is going to be g2 g2 they are saying that the set of vertices is going to be same so 1 and 2 and e2 is u comma v such that v comma e is an edge which exists in the original graph g so if 1 comma 2 is an edge in g then 2 comma 1 is going to be an edge so 2 so 2 to 1 that is going to be an edge in g2 now see now this also has two strongly components and this also has two strongly components so this uh, is definitely the answer we can check it with some complicated graph also see uh, let's say there is a graph something like this something like this mm, let's say okay okay so let's say this is g then what is going to be our g g2 our g2 is that the vertices are going to be the same and basically the edges will be reversed right so the new graph will be something like this now see we can clearly see that in this graph there are two strongly components one is this strongly connected component and another is a single vertex this okay and in this graph also we can see that this is one strongly com connected component and this is another one so we see that when the edges are reversed then the number of strongly connected components and not only number exactly the same set of vertices which are there in g they are forming exactly the same uh, uh, another set of vertices which are forming another strongly connected component in G2. Okay, so basically the answer is B.